the spectrometer. Where is it used for, what could we possibly do with it, and why is it so mysterious? We see this mysterious device in multiple cutscenes and missions in the game, and even random pedestrians and people from the Elders camp mention this device, but no one really knows where it is used for. Hey what is up guys, Whistle here and today we'll be taking an in-depth look at the spectrometer device. So, first of all, where do you see this device for the first time? Well, it depends what mission you start first, but just to be clear, there are only two spectrometer devices in the game so far. Many people believe there is a hidden third spectrometer somewhere, and a lot of clues back this theory up, but this one has yet to be found. More information about this later on in the video. So, the first spectrometer can be found at Omega. The very first time you encounter him with Franklin, he is messing around with the spectrometer device. He is like checking if Franklin is human or an alien with the device. Here is the clip, take a look. Wait, wait, wait! Stop! What's the problem, home? Wait! Carbon-based life form, check. Six feet tall, check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue, normal distribution, check. Readings are, readings are, shoot. This little machine is broken again, check. Star date 14-9-305, time is 789 past the Manc Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon based life form. Greetings, home. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings. And out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Pretty interesting. So, you know he's checking you because he's talking about a carbon-based life form. So, that Franklin is a carbon-based life form. A carbon is a key component of all known life on Earth. Molecules are made up of carbon bonded with other elements like oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen. So these are basically components of all life on Earth and the device is basically checking if we have these components. So yes, you can conclude that the spectrometer is checking if someone or something is extraterrestrial or not, but there is a lot more to it, hear me out. But first guys, the second cutscene confirms this, because the second time you see the spectrometer is with the Epsilon program with Michael. In the cutscene they literally say this, I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. Here, take a look. Kiflam. Ah, or, uh, Kiflam. Marnie. Wait, I thought my name was Zolak. That's because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflam. Right. Yeah. Kiflam. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing, Zondar, nothing. I become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. <laughs> well, Zondar, 
Now you can meet your people. Oh. <laughs> Kiflam. 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 So the spectrometer is checking if someone or something is extraterrestrial or not. But as I said before, there is a lot more to it, seriously, a lot. For example, the secretly hidden third spectrometer, the secret ending, aka ending C of the Atroscan missions, and Lord Zapfo, the alien king in GTA 5. They all connect with the spectrometer. So let me tell you guys a bit more about the secrets and yeah their connection with the spectrometer first of all we tend to believe there is a third spectrometer hidden somewhere in the map we believe this because of the following Franklin meets Omega who has spectrometer 1 Michael meets the Epsilon people who have spectrometer number 2 and Trevor well Trevor meets the Altris camp people and well they have the spectrometer, the third spectrometer, but all we have to do is find it. Now, I hear y'all ask, Wizzle, how do you know the Altrus camp people have the third spectrometer? Well, guys, because they literally say so. Take a look. They found the spectrometer. They found the Do your worst. You'll never find the spectrometer. You must have seen those blimps last night. Israeli design for sure. You ain't wrong. With my latest spectrometer modification, going to be a lot harder to find me. I guess so. So guys, the last time you could interact with the Eldris Camp people is with the Eldris Camp shootout mission. You have to do something in this mission because that's where the secret ending is found in the game files. While doing this mission, you have to trigger something that enables you to receive or, I don't know, get the third spectrometer. Now, yeah, trigger what? That's still the question, but there is no doubt the third spectrometer is not here. So, now about Lord Zapfo. A point of interest for a lot of people, but yeah, there is a lot of um, unknown things around this Lord Zapfo. Lord Zapfo pretty much explains why the Altruscan people need a spectrometer. They use it to check if people are extraterrestrial or not. The same as with the other two devices, because they believe an alien named Lord Zapfo is coming to reclaim the Earth, and that if they make sacrifices, Lord Zapfo is saving them when he is coming to reclaim the Earth. And yes, you were right, the sacrifices they make are the people that you bring to the camp as Trevor, so that's why they need a spectrometer to check if something or someone extraterrestrial is visiting them. Because they think Lord Zapfo is coming to, yes, yeah, save them. And yeah, that's that. So, the conclusion of this video. The spectrometer is used to check if something or someone is extraterrestrial, but there is more to it. Somewhere in the game there is a hidden third spectrometer and all clues lead to the Altrus camp. So I guess that's where we have to start looking. That's it for the video guys, but before I end, I quickly want to let you guys know, since the yeah, gun running DLC is coming out soon, that you can earn free gift cards with App Bounty. I am just trying to help you guys out. You are free to try it out if you want, but for me, it's really helping me out with earning some gift cards from time to time that I can redeem for show cards in GTA Online. So, I would say, try it out. You got nothing to lose, but yeah, you're free to do whatever you want, of course. If you would like to check it out, check the first link in the description below, and I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate it if you guys would like to drop a like on the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep updated if we find the next step in this mystery. I'm out, guys. Bye. Hoochie.
good. 